Hey guys, it's Danny. New angle. Yeah, I've been working on some stuff during the weekend on some shelves, and I'm gonna show you what I worked on. <laughs> I'll give you a few updates of the grow room and what I'm up to nowadays for a short and sweet Wednesday type of a video. So, first shelf that I wanna show you is this one. Let me direct you towards the shelf. That's my big aquarium there. But this is my new orchid shelf. So basically, I needed a shelf that could hold a small aquarium on top because I have a plan with an aquarium, but also that could hold some orchids and a really nice shelf that I've been using recently with some aquariums from Ikea is this guy. This is the Pshalbo. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. You're gonna have it written on the screen, which is a very, very similar shelf to the Vistcho, which I really like, you know, my glass shelves, but instead of glass, it has solid wood. So this is not particle board, it is solid wood. And I really like it. I think it's a good quality shelf. I have, as I was saying, some small aquariums on one of these. It's very robust. And especially for orchids, you know, we will not have issues with the weight of the orchids. What's interesting though about this shelf, do we notice how, let's say, even the light distribution is? I'm still using barinas, by the way. Those are barinas. But if you remember with the Vish show, I always put my barinas like in a sequence because the shelf is one meter and the barina is 60 centimeters. So the sides were always kind of shaded. Well, let me just do some magic here and let me just show you a little bit under the shelf. Look at that. We have barinas, but they are apparently one meter long because this shelf is one meter as well. What is going on? Did Barina come up with one meter long tubes? No. Let me get you in even closer. If you look closely, you will notice that my tubes have a little bit of a section here. All of them. Well, this is because my light situation here is comprised of 60 centimeter barinas plus the 30 centimeter one. Yes, they actually do come with an adapter that lets you daisy chain them like this. So not only with the wires, but also with a tiny, tiny little adapter that lets you pretty much extend the length of the barina quite considerably. You can attach two 60 centimeter barinas together. And let me give you the feet. I think 60 centimeters is uh, two feet. And you can attach two barinas of two feet, but also one of two feet and one of one foot. <laughs> the 30 centimeter barina is a one foot length. This is how you'll find it on Amazon, by the way. So this works out absolutely fantastic for these shelves because uh, both of them connected, they amount to about 90 centimeters or a little more. And my shelf is one meter. So I definitely don't have so much, let's call it overhang on the sides, right? And the light is a lot, a lot more even as you can tell, or I hope you can tell. I have some really, really pretty orchids here. Some are blooming for the very first time. I will talk about this one in a different video if I didn't post it just yet. Don't know when I'm posting this. If it's this Wednesday, you're gonna see next Friday um, or this Friday, this orchid and what it is. So of course I placed some cat layers here, some kitties that are not very, very tall. One thing that the Xiaobo lacks is another compartment here. The Vishjo is just one shelf taller than this one. And also with the Vishjo, you can remove very easily the glass shelves and have pretty much a taller shelf, which is exactly what I did for my tall cat layers. Let me show you. Ta-da, this is my Vish show. There we go. This has glass shelves. I know I cover them with paper, other materials now, but it's glass typically. So this means that it's really easy to remove. It's not bolted in or screwed in like the other shelf. And because I have some really tall cat layers, which cannot be placed in 40 centimeters, I decided to remove one of the glass shelves and pretty much make a sort of a step type of a shelf here. Now, I kind of randomly arrange these cat layers. I plan to only keep a very tall cat layers here, but I think you can tell the ones in the back, they are very, very tall. They're the very big flowered cat layers. 
This one is the Fushu Glory. I'm hoping it's gonna bloom this year too. So these shelves are only meant for tall cattleyas and I guess tall plants or tall orchids that I have generally. Now if you look here, let me adjust a little bit the brightness. If you look here, we can see the Barina situation and how I have to kind of arrange them like sequentially. Not all that ideal because the sides of the shelf are darker than the middle. So I am considering, even for this shelf, I'm considering to get some more tiny barinas just to extend, you know, on the sides because I don't know if it shows up on camera, but in real life, I can definitely tell that the sides are just not bright enough for cattleyas. Even though the cattleyas are tall enough to reach close to the barinas, uh, wouldn't it be wonderful if I had the full one meter long barinas, quote unquote DIY barinas? I think it would be much better. So obviously it's not gonna happen overnight because I need to import these things. The good thing is they're not very expensive. A set of 16 barinas, I think it brought me like to $100 or so. Am I getting it wrong? I hope not. So just to extend two of these shelves let's say it's not all that much a hundred dollars I, I mean it's a lot but it's like long term i think it pays off so it is an investment but i think it's worth it so in time i think i want to get the small barinas just to extend the big barinas and make the shelves very even because it is actually important especially with cat layers. so just to give you a little update on my kitties as well we have so many sheaths that one is new there this one has a sheath here this one is the lottie song i cut the flower spike because uh yeah flowers and insecticides mm, don't work i still had insects alive on the flowers so i cut the flower spikes I have this one which is so beautiful cannot wait for it to bloom I have a sheath here I have some buds there there are a lot of sheets and buds happening at the moment and I'm hoping, look at that, this one has buds in the sheath. So I'm hoping that now without the thrips, they will actually bloom because I've lost so many buds, it's not even funny. This one lost all of the buds except one. Can we focus please? There we go. So only one bud escaped, but I have more in the back. But I had so many of these cases and especially the Chantilly Lace Twinkle. I think I lost all of the buds of the past 2-3 growths. This is the first time that the buds survive because I sprayed insecticide. And I think maybe you can see dead bugs all around on the leaves. It's all frustrating. Um, so yeah, I'm really really hoping that these guys will bloom. And spoilers! I just got myself a ton of very big flowered fluffy cat layers. I have another shelf that I did this situation on, so I have two shelves available for the tall cat layers. Hopefully it's gonna be enough, but I have a thing. This season's uh, trend for me is big fluffy flowered cat layers. Why? Because I say so, because I want them. So yeah, got myself fluffy flowered cats and hopefully we're gonna do good with them. Now you might be tempted to ask, but Danny, where do you have all of these barinas? If you notice on the Catlea shelf, I have eight barinas per shelf since I removed one of the shelves, you know, and I want the light to be intense enough to reach the bottom of the shelf. Where did I come up with all of these barinas? Do I have an endless sack of barinas? No, I took them from here. Let me just show you what I did here. Do we notice that those are not barinas? <laughs> Do we know what those are? They're my old lights, you guys, my kitchen lights. I put them here because you know what? Phalaenopsis don't mind. They don't care about the spectrum and the color of the light and all of those things. Yes, they look better under the barinas, I will not lie. But you know what? You know what looks better than the barinas? My wallet. And it looks better when it has some money in it. So I stole the Phalaenopsis's barinas. I put them the kitchen lights, which we'll have to do. They were not doing anything. Might as well use them, right? All of these shelves have a total of uh, 12 tubes so I have 12 extra barinas to play with which I used for the shelf for the one that I just showed you the shalbo so yeah the phalaenopsis now have a different light I hope you can see the color difference the phalaenopsis now look a lot greener but when they're gonna bloom the color of the flowers will not look so good by the way all of this damage do we see 
This is thrips damage. This is whatever grew after insecticide spray. Look at that. So yeah, these lights are not so spectacular and gorgeous as the Burinas are, but it will have to do. For the fowls, it really doesn't matter. So that's how I came up with so many Burinas. I just relocated them. Alrighty then, so this has been it. I'm leaning a little because this shelf is actually not that tall, see? So that's the only drawback of the Shabo in my opinion, but other than that, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I think it's a good quality shelf. I'm sorry. And I think I want to put two more of these shelves. Bonus, I can actually put light on top because they're not so tall. And they have like an actual piece of wood that I can attach a clamp style of light to. So I think they're a little bit more versatile. I plan on putting two more on this wall and have more space for little orchids. Why not? Righty. So with that said, time to end. Thank you so much for joining me and hanging out with me in the grow room a little today. I'm gonna get back to work. It's filming day, so you're gonna see this outfit in a lot of videos. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great day. What are you up to in your growth spaces? Let me know. Right, see you next time. Bye.